What's going on everybody? I just wanted to take a few minutes to try and show you guys in a little bit more detail than I did in the previous video how you can use this channeling strategy or spy scalping options to make decent money even on a small account. As you can see here, I started this account today at 900 and some odd dollars and then increased it by the end of the day by $106 trading one contract at a time, playing spies channels, zero stress, won every single one of them, and brought my account up 11.22% on the day just by doing this. So let me show you what I did. At opened, I assumed we were going to take a dip. Um, at the bottom of that dip, we start to turn around Shortly after open and started to run green, I thought that was going to be a fake breakout. And so I put a, bought a put at a not good spot. And as a result, uh, at the time, I felt like we were still at least going to go back down to revisit the low that I had made right out of open. I held it longer than I probably should have. This is the worst play of today, by the way. But nonetheless, I bought the put for $1.63. I rode it out, and as you can see, it dropped significantly. I sold that put for $1.75. I then allowed it to confirm the channel that I was seeing and bought back in near the bottom of the channel with a call at $1.40. I rode it up quite a bit and sold that call for $1.69. I immediately, on the next candle, bought a put for $1.44 and I let it run down to the previous low and sold that put for $1.60. I let it run back up to the high of the channel. I bought another put at $1.47. I missed the first opportunity to sell it, but I hung on because we couldn't make new highs on the next run up. I then wrote it back down and <clears throat> somewhere along the line I had come to the conclusion that I thought we were going to have a green day today. So I bought a call at the bottom of the channel again at $1.53. It kept dropping so I sold the put that I had bought for $1.47. I sold it for $1.58. I then went ahead and averaged down on the call I had just purchased and bought that one for $1.45. So now I'm holding two calls at, if you do the math, the average probably somewhere around $1.48, $1.49 maybe. I let that call, those two calls sit. We run up, we come down a little, we come up, we come up. And at this point we had broken through a resistance that had been in place for a couple hours at around $45 or $445.62, if I remember correctly. As soon as we broke through that, I went ahead and sold one of those calls for $1.66, taking a decent profit. And then I sold the second call that I was holding shortly thereafter for $1.70. It wasn't a stressful day. It was very easy to find these points. And more importantly, it made my overall account on this tiny account go up 11.22% on the day. That's fantastic. That's a great return on a small account. I have a cash account, so I ran out of money to be able to trade anymore on this particular day, but that was okay. Um, there was no need to be any more greedy than that. And as a result, uh, I lived to trade another day because not only did I not lose capital, I increased it by 11%. If you can learn to be patient and you can learn to read these charts and find the channels and follow the trends, you can do this all day long, almost every single day. It doesn't matter if the market's moving up, if it's moving down, even if it's moving sideways. SPY offers enough volatility to do this every day. It may not be as clean and as clear as it was on this particular day, but the opportunity does exist every day. 
That being said, you got to keep your position small while you're learning. Keep it relative to your overall position size, you know, how much your, 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 your account balance is worth. And play smart. Don't hold and hope. Don't get yourself into a position where emotion starts to take over because you've, you've, you've gotten into too big of a position and now you're panicking to get out. And usually that's going to result in a massive loss. And we, we don't want to do that. I literally did this with one contract at a time. So the stress level was way, way lower than normal. I've plotted everything out. I showed you my trade log. I showed you the account balance on this small account, which by the way, I started with right around 200 bucks, a little over a month ago. <clears throat> and I've been doing this particular strategy on it on a daily basis. Another thing I'm going to go ahead and put out there is oftentimes I will only trade on this small account on expiration days only. And the reason I do that is because the options are much cheaper and it allows me to play a little bit more often. It's usually about twice, twice as many contracts on expiration day as it is on non expiration days. Um, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or don't understand what I'm showing you or don't understand what I did or why I did what I did, please go ahead, drop a comment below this video. But if you do understand what's going on here and you do think you can do it, I really encourage you to give it a try. If you found some value and some good information in this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. I will continue to try and find ways to put out content that will make it easier for the smaller investors to make money safely. I'll talk to you guys soon and I love you all. See you.